Hey, what is up guys? This is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and Happy New Year! It is 2018. So before we get this year kicked off, I want to take a look back at 2017 and give you my top 10 favorite figures of this amazing year. So what are we waiting for? Let's kick things off! So starting things off, we have the SH Figure Arts Bruce Lee figure in his yellow tracksuit. Now I think like most Bruce Lee fans, the yellow tracksuit is his most iconic look. And I think SH Figure Arts absolutely killed it. We got really cool accessories, those different interchangeable faceplates, and incredible Figure Arts articulation makes this for one badass figure and I was so happy to add him to the collection. Number 9 Coming in at number 9, we have the WWE Elite SummerSlam Series Finn Balor. Now this is a gorgeous piece. I am a huge WWE fan and one of my favorite wrestlers of this current era is Finn Balor, the Demon King. I think Mattel did such a great job with this piece. Taking that SummerSlam look and incorporating it in this figure is incredible. The awesome elite articulation and the attention to detail with those paint apps is just immaculate and one of my favorite wrestling figures to date. That's why Finn Balor comes in at number 9. Number 8 Now there was no way I was going to leave a Star Wars figure off this list, for we have the Star Wars The Black Series Darth Revan. Now I absolutely love this figure. It is definitely my favorite Star Wars piece of the year. Finally getting Darth Revan in the 6 inch scale was so incredibly cool. Great attention to detail with the soft goods cape and the skirt piece and great sculpt and paint apps. Throw in two really cool lightsabers make this for one awesome action figure. And if you know anything about Star Wars, you'll know that Darth Revan is a very intricate character for the Jedi and the Sith. That's why Darth Revan came out at number 8. Number 7 Coming in at number 7, we have The Legend of Zelda The Twilight Princess Figma Link DX Edition. Now, if you're a huge Legend of Zelda fan like I am, and you want a really cool Link figure, this is definitely the piece to get. He's got a beautiful sculpt and paint, and amazing Figma articulation. Throw in a ton, and I do mean a ton of interchangeable parts and accessories, make him for one incredible Link figure, and I think you would absolutely love him for your collections. That's why Figma Link is at number 7. Number 6 And at number 6, we have the Hollywood Hogan figure from Storm Collectibles. Now this is a really cool figure, because I am a giant Hulk Hogan fan. In my opinion, he is the GOAT, the greatest of all time. And since Mattel won't be giving us Hogan figures anytime soon, lo and behold Storm Collectibles gives us this amazing piece. The NWO era was one of my favorite times in wrestling history, and I absolutely love that Storm gave us this great figure of Hogan from that time. So if you're a giant NWO fan like I am, and a giant Hogan fan, then this piece is definitely a must get. Number 5 And at number 5, we have the SH Figure Arts Harley Quinn from the Suicide Squad film. Now unlike a lot of people, I really love the Suicide Squad movie. And this piece is incredible. It has one of the best sculpts that I've ever seen on a female figure. Those face sculpts with paint apps are amazing and some of the best actress likenesses that I've ever seen on a figure of this scale. And let's be honest, that's one of the best booties in action figure history. Throw in gorgeous paint, insane articulation, and really cool accessories make this for one awesome piece, and that's why Harley Quinn is at number 5. 
Number four. And at number four, we have the new Bucky O'Hare figure from Boss Fight Studios. Now overall, I think this is just pure nostalgia. I was such a big fan of Bucky O'Hare back when all of us are going through the craze of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think we were a fan of everything anthropomorphic, and Bucky O'Hare for me was one of the characters at top. He was a green bunny in space who fought toads. That's incredible, and the fact that we got a modern figure with great articulation in an interchangeable parts and accessories is insane and I am so thankful to Boss Fight Studios. Number 3 At number 3, we have the amazing Yamaguchi Revel Tech Wolverine. Now, in my opinion, this is one of the most fun action figures that I've had with all year. This Wolverine is so incredibly awesome to pose around. Now, I know not everyone likes the Rebel Tech joints, but I do. I love posing around in every eclectic pose that I possibly can get him in. He's got an insane look, really great paint, those claws are incredible, and some of the best articulation you'll ever find on any Wolverine figure. That's why Wolverine Revel Tech is at number three. Number two. And coming in at number two, we have not one, but the entire 2017 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles box set. Now there's no way I could have picked just one from this set because I love the entire Turtle universe. Not only do we get the Turtles, but we also get Shredder, Krang, and two foot soldiers. All of them look like they are being ripped straight from that vintage cartoon. NECA did a great job with the paint, sculpt, accessories, and articulation that this is one of the most beautiful and sought after box sets for all TMNT collectors. If you're a huge Ninja Turtle fan like I am, then this set was a definite must get. Number, Number one. one, one, one. And at number one is the entire Mezco 112 Collective line. Now much like the Turtles, there's no possible way that I could have picked just one figure. This entire line is complete works of art. Mezco is completely killing the game right now, and they are one of the best toy lens out there to date. From the great sculpts, paint apps, articulation, soft goods, interchangeable parts and accessories, and the licensing, we're getting DC, Marvel, Universal Monsters, Judge Dredd, Space Ghost, Hanna-Barbera, and even Popeye. Yes, Popeye. This is probably one of the best Toylands of 2017, if not the best, and will be no different for 2018. So there it is, guys. My Top 10 of 2017. Now moving forward into 2018, I look forward to seeing a lot more cool toys from my favorite lines. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let's hear some of your favorites. Happy New Year, and stay nerdy my friends. Peace.